Hello again. Now I'm going to show you how NPIV works uh, with PowerVC. Let's check configuration. I have I had two storage connectivity groups here. The first one is the default one, which is like MPIV, and I will use them for my for this example. And we can also check the fiber channel port configuration here, which is uh, quite important in some environments because some customers want to separate the production and test development fabrics from each other. We can select, we can give names and we can create fiber channel port configuration regarding to our needs here. We can limit if one fiber port is used for MPIV or just versus SCSI or both or none. Let's deploy another virtual server with NPIV. But as you know, the NPIV will need SAN switches and in my example I have two brocade switches here and I have also Uh, store wise as my storage. Let's do this. Let's come to images. I have the same image that I use for NPIV. Let's read it. NPIV. Let's deploy it this time on the other server. You see, the first one was the virtual SCSI and the second one is NPIV. Let's give one IP address to this machine, the next one, and deploy it. What we going to expect is that PowerVC automatically creates volumes on store-wise it also creates zones and aliases in brocade switches and also start it. Let me pause it. Hello again, my virtual machine is ready. It is this one, Red Hat NPIV. Actually, uh, let's check how the process works internally. internally. So let's make a deep dive. This is my store wise. You see, another host has been created in PowerVC, and you will always see uh, NPIV volumes at boot volumes as degraded. Why? Because in for LPM live partition mobility, on each virtual fiber card there are two WWNs but the second ones are just used when uh, the machine is migrating from one physical server to another one so this degraded is okay and oh let's see the switches you see this is my first uh, SAN switch you see this zones are created automatically by PowerVC. This is really cool because if you have had like hundreds of virtual servers and you are using NPIV, playing around with zones is a headache and the second uh, WWNs of each uh, virtual fiber card are never online. You had to do them manually. You see everything is ready. The active and the, the LPM1, I call them LPM1 WWNs are here. Also, check the other fiber switch. You see, it's already created with a nice naming scheme. 
in Parvis. And my server is ready. And let me show you my server. This is my Red Hat server. Up and running. Thanks for watching.